Hi, right, so fucking drunk here yet again with uh, another attempt at a review. Uh, the beer I'm going to review tonight, or just now even, it's not a night because I've reviewed one after the other, <laughs> I always do. It's uh, from the Black Sheep Brewery and it's uh, the Black Sheep Ale. 4.4 in a Richter scale. This is one I've seen been reviewed and like so I've bypassed this about a million times in the supermarket. It's always there. And I bypassed that. I don't know why. Because anytime I see a review of it, it's not been that bad. So anyway, there's the old uh, bottle top for the black sheep. It's the first one to get in there, it's actually quite unusual. Don't know if we've got it the right way round or not. We'll spin it round. There you go. Black Sheep Brewery. You hear this? Put it in the box with the rest of them there. That's sad. The box is nearly filled. So, <laughs> so anyway, here we go. Black Sheep Ale. 4.4 in the Richter scale it is. Let's get it in the glass and see what it looks like. Beautiful. All that. Look at that. Is that not perfect? It's got a nice ruby red. Wooden a bit finger. I love doing that. <laughs> it's got a nice it's got a nice white head about it. Nice ruby colour in appearance. Not so very light, a light ruby colour actually. A lot of carbonation going in there as well. See it? Effervescence. Personally I like to see that in beer. That means there's a lot of life in it. Yeah, a lot of people don't like to see that. But I do. So try your aroma. I'm not really picking much off of the aroma, but that's not dissing the brewery. I seem to get it all in the mouth and the taste buds and that, but like the black the black uh, sheep brewery, it's probably another one that's gonna I don't know what the hops are where it is. I don't really care if I don't get the terminology right, it's it's all about and what I think about the beer. If I'd enjoy this beer. So it to me just now, it looks the part. So anyway, I'm going to go in here, have a taste, and I'll see what I can come up with. Wow. That is beautiful. That is really, really nice beer. That's got a nice hoppiness about it. Nice crispness. Nice, nice little bit of bitter throwback. Yeah, I wish I, I knew the terminologies like all these beer gurus out there that they could tell you what hops was in this. I haven't a clue. It's, there's guys I know that I have reviewed this. Please tell me what they are. It's beautiful, beautiful beer. It's it's only 4.4 on the Richter scale, the black sheep. And I, I don't know why I bypassed this for about over a year, year and a half. I, I saw that and I went, I don't fancy that. And it, is, it says in the bottom, a uh, crisp, dry and bittersweet. That's probably the best description I can come up with as well. That is that is beautiful, beautiful beer. I'll see what it says in the back of the bottle, actually. Uh, what does it say? Uh, the Black Sheep Ale is brewed at the Black Sheep Brewery, which is in Masham, North Yorkshire. Uh, 
it just tells you what's in it. Like so, I don't even know what that means. Uh, well, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> it said it because it's saying it in different Spanish, I think it is. Because it says cerveza. Uh, water, malted barley, wheat, and hops. So, like I said, obviously it's got a market in Spain. Spanish co Spanish speaking countries, anyway. Uh, that's, that's actually quite nice. That's probably the only way to describe it. The best way it says in the bottle, the crisp. Dry and bittersweet. That's that's probably it. That's probably the only way to describe it because I don't know anything about hops or nothing. I'm not going to bullshit you. Sit here and tell you it's got this hop and that hop in it because I don't know. But I'm going to tell you right now this is a good beer. This is a good session beer. This is a, a beer you could easily go out on Saturday afternoon and drink a load of. Nice, nice beer. I wonder if you do. Has anybody out there ever tried this in cask? Please let me know. Uh, really, really nice. I've got to get back in here again before I give a sofa cane drop rating. Yep. Can't fault that at all. That is really, really good beer. If Another question to these people out there on YouTube is there, is there anyone out there that knows if this brewery do other beers? Please uh, leave a comment, please if you could tell me because this is a, this is a good brew, a really good brew. At 4.4 .4, this is really really nice. So I'm going to give the Black Sheep Hill 4.4 in the Richter scale by the Black Sheep Brewery. I'm going to give that a Sofa King drunk rating of 7 out of 10. Because, believe it or not, I really enjoyed that. That is a session beer. A real, real good beer. I could actually see myself uh, eating cheese with that. I don't know if that's what the brewmaster is actually intended, but you can you can see yourself eating something nice and cheesy when that. It's put me in the mood for stilton or something like that. Uh, I don't know if that's a money, but I'm in the mood for a, a piece of stilton after drinking that beer. So anyway, if you agree or disagree or like what you see, please leave a comment, maybe subscribe. Uh, if not, thanks for dropping by and uh, maybe I'll see you again in another Sofa King Drunk beer review. Cheers now.